It, it looks like Uziaki just got punished by the hyper speeds bouncing up uh, from that wall. So, Soul trying to get aggressive early on. They lose the Petite, but they still have a chance to get run back on the point. Uziaki will be returning in a moment, but Fletter is getting to throw plenty of shurikens here. It doesn't really matter because the frontline fight was where it all went down. And Lee Jack Gill there that's now been removed with those that's done his job for the time being. And Fletter now looking for a dragon blade, but he's knocked back. Looks like a whip shot from Slime. <laughs> Punished him, but the dose catches him. Now Prophet is going to come in with the blade. Stunned up briefly, but it's a pretty gainful deflect. And he's now to get rid of a lot of stuff, Matt. Uh, he got rid of the Bongo and the drone, but the DMs are going to find him later on in the fight. Now Soul need to be careful behind him. Boyd, he's going to be a problem now as the pincer comes in from the dragons, forces another immortality field, and DM finds Fitz. Soul don't really have anywhere to go right now. They're forced to play back in the corner. Slime will get Jake on, but it's probably all that Soul are going to get here. And, and they decided to stack Soul with their Amp Matrix and Supercharge. Really needs a big pick in this fight. Neither of them have Infrasight here, but it's going to be the flux from Void, like you mentioned. He was playing a sick off-angle sticker in that previous fight. It was so punishing. Slimes down to Soul's an immortality field, and it is done. The Void is going to have an accretion to chase Jester out, and plenty of bluff and blunder early from the Dynasty, Matt. They take the point. How much talent is around the league that you know, may not be in the best position, but still incredible players. It's a gesture here dies so fast. Yeah. I, he got halted, Ooh. Matt. There was not much he could do. Shot. Good ocean. Never really sort of chance there. Prophet, we followed him at the start of that fight, and then we saw him sort of meandering through that middle room as Jesse lit up the kill feed or actually got killed. So it doesn't look like Soul were remotely ready. They're trying to play Sombra Echo with Wrecking Ball here now. Yeah, they're trying to play like a dive. Again. Uh, yeah, it's the, the, maybe Soul are feeling like they can't actually match the Dragons with their own game. He have switches, goes over towards the Ash here, so it gives a little bit more, uh, you know, self skill of course, for the Coach Gun. Boy wants to push forward and he slept. Yeah, more self-peel, but also just more consistent damage, not relying on uh, just headshot one-shot kills at range, being able to just kind of burst down some of these targets with three, four shots. And the fact that they never end up burning an ultimate that it seems like that they didn't really need. They're always on the ball with it. Well, Void's now being prevented from using an ultimate, but Flatter isn't. Ball. He finds three. And the setup from Fearless was perfect. There was a supercharger there again. I think it's been coined the super. Yeah. I, I don't know why. I just like they 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 have to win this one here. They get played early without having to use any ultimates, so big oh, start. For big flux there. Genji appeared, was caught in that one, but Prophet doesn't really seem too fucked by that one. He's fine. And a hack on the Fearless should end the fight. Uh, the dynasty didn't actually have to use too many of those ultimates, no. so despite being in a really high pressure situation. Bubble as he goes in with the blade there. And oh, oh my! An accretion connection there just as the bubble expired. Still doesn't keep his Yaki and Fletter safe. Prophet's able to find two pretty comfortably now. He gets to get another bubble. And Marvel's doing a lot of work here. We know he's uh, Zarya from way back when. And uh, that fight. So, so just how much protection point to try and draw them back if you want it. Try and contest. A lot, a lot of interesting things that Shanghai can do now. With I think the they're rallying. Oh. I was going to say the rally might be the important ultimate, but it may not matter now with Prophet out of the mix. The Dragons stay perched on the high ground for the time being now. The Supercharger down. They will engage. Jeff's just so low, and he knew he was screwed. He was not in a good position at all. So, uh, yeah. Halted there, just out in the open, and Fitz is going to have to move in a stall now. Fletter, not sure what he's looking for, but Ocean maybe reflects the Biotic Grenade, and you know, gets hit with it himself. Didn't quite get the Reflect back. Don't matter, though. The Dragons get to move on into that first pick match. Control with the Widowmaker here alone. Oh, okay. Starting to feel the effect of that may here. I mean, great placement of that immortality field. Nicely done by Iziaki, making it possible for the Dragons to lose any players. And the Dynasty are playing a pretty common 3 3 split setup. And Flood is able to chase down Gesture. Again, this is the risk. You know, we saw this happen last night as well. He split up across the, this Kingsbro defense, Matt. It could get picked apart. It, it, it's the same exact thing. Careful, Fitz being healed from long range here, and DM smartly uh, chooses to try and line Bedosin up there, but he's too far away. Marvel increasing into the back line, didn't quite connect, he's lost gesture now, so Marvel has to do the lion's share and the tanking right now, but Void got rid of Slime, that healing is gone, and again, you know, these compositions really work like a house of cards, Matt, especially if you lose threat by existing, which is uh, a huge boon to your team if you really want to draw people out of position. Fearless the Supercharger is down, so there won't be any extra damage for him there. And the Dynasty are able to repel Shanghai finally. And, and they, but they needed to use everything they had to do it. I mean, a lot, both teams kind of invested it. So there's nowhere for DM to try and get a pin. They're trying to give him something. Uh, the Dragons push around that far side, and Void is super out of position, frozen solid here. And yeah, not nearly enough damage. So I guess the Dragons go for a 
bit of a dry fight. But don't actually generate a ton of ultimate percentage to do stuff. But yeah. especially. Like, like you mentioned, when they wrap around there, you, you, you saw where Diem was set up. They were trying to give him angles to potentially get a... He's probably glad there's a wall there with an amplification to make things thrown up and necessitate that from Sol. Bob is in and out as quickly uh, as he came. The Prophet is down to Diem. Here's a supercharge on push map. Now the Dragons want to double down. Yeah, so you see Boyd with some nice damage on the high ground. Diem picks up two, Diem a third. And now Shanghai can get the cart going. For oh. that yeah, Matrix to go away. Now they'll use their Gravitic blocks as they try and push in. Yeah, and he's gonna grasp the marble there to make sure he doesn't take too much damage while he's airborne. But Prophet has gone down. There's a Blizzard coming in from Fletter. Everyone caught inside that one, gesture included. And that is bad news indeed for the Soul Dynasty. The Dragons come up with the goods at the end. Through his uh, profit, Maywall in the choke, trying to split off the supports, and they do a nice job of doing it. Uh, okay, it's a trade. The marble has gone down, so an extra shield is standing for the Shanghai Dragons, and they get an immortality field down. And look at that. DM spends the first bit of this round quiet for when it's time to strike. He strikes true. Two kills for him, and even if Fearless goes down here, they can push up now past the Sigma Shield, the Arisa Shield, sorry, and find the kills. EJ gone, obviously. Important not getting picked by the enemy Widow is the DM. He's yeah. still holding it for sight until Fitz just used it, making sure there was no way that Fitz could get the drop on him. Boyd gets dropped, though, uh, and hard. Marvel's able to find him early on, and the Dragons are missing their Sigma to start with. And Jagon may have been caught out of position here. There's a Blizzard, and he already shield bashed forward. He couldn't get away. Prophet's able to catch them inside the small room. And now the rest of Soul can step on up. DM has even less sight lines than he did before to play with. And that might be it for Dragons. I'll get back to the rest of their team. But Flitter's just going to hold the choke here. He's going to sit, look at the high ground. There you can see the pit on a flank. See if that works out. Here's the Blizzard. That can throw down it. The amplification matrix also got used, but everybody from the uh, the Dynasty was forced to back away with that Blizzard in play. And, well, uh, Fitz and DM know uh, each other was there. That's pretty funny. <laughs> the Dragons just burrow their way through it. They know there's a big opportunity to find a couple kills here. Boyd's trying to get rid of that immortality field, but it stays around for a very long time. Still, the Dragons have one of their own, and they stay alive while they weather. And I was just about to say, where is Fitz? Is, uh, he dies there towards the end. Pull the Dragons back, and they just hit Rally, and then press W. Jagon's trying to push forward now, and there's going to be a Blizzard thrown out. This might trap the Dragons, might punish them for getting over-aggressive here, but Fitz has been taken down. It's at least that. Everybody on the Dragons, though, is on the wrong side of that wall, caught in the Blizzard. And that's punishment. Yeah, and, and they're still fighting this Shanghai. They're just going to draw this out. They may get another attempt here. Uh, going in with uh, Fleta now just going on. He's going to be waiting. If the Dynasty want to barrel through this small room, he will be there with the Blizzard. Look at this. Prophet already had to use the Ice Block, man. No, and they're going to get right aggressive onto him. They're going to Blizzard go in. Ice Block here is Prophet. Never even able to get his own Blizzard off. Shanghai looking to put this map away. Oh, again, get an early Ice Block, and that's all you need. The Shanghai Dragons managed to hold out and weather the storm on King's so easy to line of sight. Yeah. That ability. Interesting place to, uh, I mean, it doesn't matter, Flanner, that's really nice. He knew exactly how much damage he had to do, and frankly, Bidosa was too slow to pop his self heal to respond. Fitz is able to find the head of Flanner, though, and now to 5v5. Fitz extremely low, and don't forget, Bidosa isn't there, it's just Brigitte for healing, but Toby's making it work somehow, and the Dynasty make their way forward now control the high ground and they should just be able to round up the rest of the dragons yes it looks like it's just dm void and uh dj gone why are they not back in action it looks like they backed up though it looks like they're going to concede this point as uh well no never mind I don't void and dj gone now go and try and fight this i don't know what they're looking for here this is a staggered situation but it gets fits it doesn't really matter though they'll get That's the fast spot though They'll be spawned up right yeah, not impressed at all with the entangle there. Uh, it looks good if it nah. works out, but it's so risky. Yeah, the Dynasty already has a little lead. A little flashy, a little risky here as uh, Void use the Gravitic Flux here. Get up real high as they'll knock down Toby, but not enough to get a pick off on. Got to close this. Oh, the Dynasty. Okay. That was an odd little situation there. They, I mean. That looks like... Yes, he's going to dive in. That's the break. Don't want to go exactly in, but it looks like Soul Dynasty trying to pinch the players on Shanghai in the choke, but DM with a headshot on the Toby takes out the break. And it starts to fall down. Just is already missing there. Fearless picks him off. DM off. He doesn't care if he goes down here. He's not going to, apparently, because Izzy Ark is just pumping the... Ooh, that's sharp. That's lovely. And you saw earlier an interesting 
So I, I like this from the Dragons. This is the maneuver play here, trying to work the way around the outside and put pressure on gesture first and foremost. Okay, well, no immortality field available there for Jay Gon. He's taken down, but gesture eventually falls. So the, the crux of the Dragon's plan comes to pass. And Prophet only gets one kill with the Blade now. The big clutch boys in trouble. Okay, straight into an immortality field. It would have died otherwise. Gillis is going to make the most of that immortality as well to try and set up. He's a little bit concerned though, because he's got a Sigma in front and yeah, Genji to his left. And he has to back right on up. He's got to play Widow against him on this map. But Flutter goes for the Blade anyway. And just like a lot of solid damage there. On suggestion, a lot of pressure on the healers as a result. He has to go for a deflect here. He's got Prophet is mad. He wants a bit of fisty cuffs, but he's not going to get it now. It's going to be Michelle taken to the skies and being brought back down awfully fast. Three minutes 50 on the clock, and the Dragons are set up here to lead in time bank now. Mostly on the back of that fast point eight take, and they will. Two minutes 25. Place two minutes. Popped up for now. Boy pushes up. His Sigma barriers are actually quite important. And yeah, that one went down there. Michelle wasn't able to keep his alive. Gesture was quickly overwhelmed as well. Shield management so hard to carry out these fights. And now there's a bit of wedge driven between the dynasties. Two sides, Matt. They're in trouble. And you see when Void gets that choke, knows a player's to his left. And what does he do? He throws a Sigma shield in the doorway and then just turns his attention to the right. <laughs> Because he knows that if the back list, they lose their shield in a pinch, and there it is. So here's the attempt to force position, but Flutter already comes straight on, enforces him on Kali, feels that's down, and now he gets a couple slashes left with a blade to do some work, Ooh. and work he does, he gets two, and it's profit and gesture, most importantly, the go down. Force the immortality field, and you saw Flutter take a breath. He didn't push on with the rest of the blade until... Damn, a millionaire and an Eminem reference all in one uh, sentence, man. That's quite impressive. Prophet is a blade here, but Jess has already gone down. No one sees him rolling now. To the point goes Prophet. Didn't really know if he'd find anyone, but he pulls out the blade for some extra protection. Everyone feels tougher when they're toting a samurai sword around, I guess. But Prophet isn't able to do much with it, and that'll be it. He's playing at this time, so Soul has to be really careful. Well, point the old uh, void. I mean, this is really taking the definition of off angle to extreme. The solo Sigma attack. And look at this. The Dynasty can't roll over the top of Void. It's the same problem they had on King's Row, Matt. Prophet, though, he's able to find a couple of kills around the periphery. But still, he's got a lot to do. And that increase is going to seal his fate. Flatter is down, but Void is still healthy on the point. Now it has to be a bob. So at least there's been some time bought now. Enough to get him back. Fitz finds two, and the Dragons may have to wait. They, they, they're going to have to jump off. This is not enough for the shop. As it looks like Lee Jae Gun will fall. Fletta trying to get a touch on the point. As it looks like Soul Dynasty will be able to get this drop. I mean, they're contesting still. The, dra the Dragons can keep this alive somehow. It is quite absurd. No way they can keep this going. Void rolling on in. This is a little low, but yes, this one should be over now. Just a couple of extra Dragons players to fill for one of the point. They will be evicted in due course. And that is impressive from the Soul Dynasty, Matt. They're behind. They have to deal with something a little different to be shown. And, I mean, Prophet, yeah. Look, he just took a lot of poke damage and got caught inside that focusing beam a little too long. This is bad for Soul Dynasty. You can't have your players getting taken out one by one here. As you see Michelle in a tough situation. Same with Gesture. Nice body block of the door there from Void. You also have Lee J. God in the doorway. It uh, looks like some for Soul Dynasty. They nano Toby here as well. Maybe trying to build up a quick rally? I mean, he's got it. He's able to use it here. And with Void going down now, there's no shield, of course, at all to speak of. Shanghai can just back out of this. I mean, they're going to lose players. They'll lose this fight. Just kind of run away. They'll come back with a nano plus a rally of their own Rav here. So, uh, Shanghai wins. Makes two wins. Here. But Michelle gets burst out awfully quick. So that able to back away there. It looked like uh, Michelle didn't quite get towards that Graviton surge, but Void did. Fearless leaps upon Fitz, who used that AMP to minimal effect as far as we can see. And what a horrendous fight from the Soul Dynasty. Actually horrid. I, I mean, they didn't have a lot to work with uh, for the fight. Uh, Shanghai, uh, I mean, that's a lot. A lot of high impact ones, especially both supportal. Uh, Lip will take out Prophet here. Another EMP build up by him. He's just doing so much harassment. Uh, Lofty Ziaki already. Nano boost onto his chest, but he didn't have any mobility. He couldn't get away from all the scrutiny he was suffering. Michelle charged up, ready to go, pressuring Void down. Michelle's having to get that healing now and wants to push back a little bit more with his respective damage that could be coming. Lip there. 
as much of a purpose as it could have served. That is, I mean, that is what Echo's going to offer you there. Fleta just spot prop it out and stays trained on him there. Sticky bombs and the focusing beam to kill the kill. But those is in grave danger. He goes extremely low and eventually is kicked off by Fleta now. The sticky bombs across the map. And Michelle's in trouble. He's just, he's boomed. Mental. Decide to use this EMP. A lot of other ultimates coming online for the Shanghai Dragons here as well. Again, it's all it's all bluster here for the Dynasty man. All this while, the payload is sat there in that underpass. Now, Lim goes for an EMP now with Flatter out of the mix, hoping to try and make a difference here. And Felix with the Primal Rage inside the server room could be exactly what they're looking for. He's here with a body grenade and great grab. It had to be there from Michelle. It doesn't look flashy to have to do that, but that's the only way you contain a Winston who's going mental onto your team after they hit with an EMP. There's just not a lot else you can do about that one. The Dragons here have a, a Graviton Surge of their own to hold in place, and Flett is going to go for a duplicate to Winston himself. He's going to get close to a Primal Rage, and yep, he's there. Kobe on the card trying to keep things going. Jagon is hacked, forced on back. Fearless there, and Fletter steps up, man. Even with the EMP in place, he still has the Primal Stall factor. Yeah, so they're going to be able to get the Primal Rage, but nobody else on the Dynasty is there to step up in, in lieu of any healers except Prophet. Who gets rid of Jagon, but then comes back in, and yeah, that's an EMP. Nice little cinematic camera angle there. Sets that up perfectly. Lip steps back, and again, both teams have tried to fight without follow-up in the last couple of moments, man. And they're still just burning this clock. Uh, Shanghai just throwing themselves at the point. Prophet takes out Izayaki again, so you lose your honor for the second fight in a row really early. This should be enough to get Soul Dynasty point A. Soul Dynasty just trying to get some space here. They have the EMPs. It only connects with two. It connects with Void and Lee Jae Gon. It's had enough to win this fight. This, uh, it looks like it might be at this moment in time. Let's see Michelle all charged up on the high ground, drops down. I mean, that's perfect. No way they were going to get to the card. Profit now, this duplicate looks so big, right? He can just pop an EMP off at the end of the fight here. It's too really need to be there. <laughs> yeah, a celebration EMP there. Profit is. Uh, now Soul Dynasty. I was Place full of sticky bombs. Was on the menu just now, and that's healed up pretty comfortably. Finn's trying to get the hack, and there's no EMP available now. By the looks of things, Jay got taken down. That is, that is beautiful. It's just perfect. Fantastic stuff. Lit does eventually get a new nano. Winston was enough to hold the Dynasty back for the time being. Michelle goes for a grab ostensibly on the cart. And it yields to kill on Jagon, but it's a one-for-one -one trade, and Chester is down there. Yeah, and a profit will use a duplicate here on to Fearless, so he'll turn into Winston as he'll earn himself a Primal Rage as Flutter now coming out of the spawn of the new fist. Can he make a play? Gets stunned right in the middle, trying to go with an uppercut here, maybe surely. Nope, doesn't even get it off as Noy will get on the card, just try and touch. Soul Dynasty will finish with a minute 21 on the clock. On the side to fight, Jesty goes in, not bad at all. Finds Jago, but Flutter finds Prop, which is a better or higher value kill, I wonder. Jesty's gonna get burned down by Flutter there without focusing beam even. And Fearless is close to a primal if he stays alive. Yeah, they know they just need to live a little bit. That'll be the EMP coming on through. Fleta, the duplicate here onto Azaria. Fearless with the primal rage. This'll be where the payload stops for the soul. Dynasty Shanghai with a good defense. Okay, so here's the nano because you're talking about Matt Fearless. He's going to fit force in the trends. Okay, Michelle, we see what Bonnie Grenade by, uh, by Izayaki there. But Fearless doesn't have to follow it up. He knew that Michelle will be out of the fight for quite some time, and that'll be it. There's a big EMP from the Dynasty. Six players caught here. Put the over to break line of sight. They back away. Bubble on to Fearless after he slept, so he can't be taken down. It's just Bidosin up against his old roster. Tough way to go out, but them's the breaks. And the Shanghai Dragons will be...